Yeah. Okay, contents actually basically I will split into a few parts, like the types of the audits, the audit period, who can be audited, implementation of the audit, documents required, the exit meeting after the GSC audit, how about the appeals and complaints, then at last we will focus on the GST areas, uh, audit areas. Okay, the first one we start, what is the, what are the audit purposes, GST audit purposes? Of course, it is to determine the tax has been paid, accounted and paid correctly and accurately. Okay, to measure the level of the compliances for those who have registered and to identify the revenue risk. Number third one is just to provide a guidance and advice to those who are registered under the GSC Act and to act as a guideline to compliances officer with greater transparency and efficiency. Okay, this is the purpose, it's almost the same like GST audit is about the same with the income tax audit. The main purposes is they want to be like the hand on hand guidelines guiding through the taxpayer in compliances and with greater transparency. Okay, there are many types of the GST audit. Okay, there are six categories of the GST audit. The first category is tax audit. This is very usual and normal as is now. So many of our clients also, they do receive the tax audit letter. That means the custom love letter to ask for the certain information and documents to be furnished to the custom department. Okay, under the tax audit, they need to verify of the information of the GST return. Basically, normally this is the very straightforward issues like the fluctuations in the GST payment. Meaning to say, maybe one taxable period, you have huge GST output tax payable. And the next taxable period of the GST return, you have a huge GST tax refund. So your GST return is like the yo-yo, up and down, up and down. So in this case, so they may come for the tax audit. So under normally, under what kind of the scenarios that this will happen? For example, if you purchase the um, building, okay, or factory for your business purposes, so the factory could be value about two million. So if two million, the GST value is one hundred and twenty thousand. You incur the input tax and claim from the custom is one hundred and twenty thousand. So in the particular taxable period you may have incurred that means or claim back of the huge input tax refund. So this is why they will come and audit you. The second one is the refund audit. It's quite similar with the first one. The purpose is they want to verify that all your documents and the input tax that you incurred and claim is genuine. If your refund is more than one million, so they definitely will come and audit you before they refund to you. But normally for our clients, say the refund is within 6,000, 10,000, 20,000, so they will get back the refund. So if you have found in your GSC return online, so you will get back the refund within 14 working days, as per the guideline, as they are saying. And if you have submit manually, go to the custom kiosk or the counter to submit manually, then the refund will take a longer time. So it will take about 28 working days in order for the custom to refund to you. So for the cash flow purposes, we will advise you to better to go for the online, with online submission via your tax system. The third one of the audit will be transaction audit. This purpose is to verify the transaction assist and are correctly complied and reported. Okay, they will check through of their supplier invoices, especially the very huge amount with the large amount.